We are going to crush those abs. Yes, it is the Crusher Abs Workout. Whew, we are going to feel the burn. Hello, everybody, and welcome to today's workout. We are going to crush those abs. Yes, it is the Crusher Abs Workout. Whew, we are going to feel the burn with the sun on us and also in our abs. If you were on the retreat, you know how amazing it was. If you weren't, well, you gotta make sure that you come on the next one and I brought you here just to so that you can feel like you were a little bit involved in the retreat. Right, so if you've not already subscribed to the channel, make sure that you do. And of course, go out and check us on Facebook and Instagram, Rebecca Louise Fitness, uh, because we post loads of motivation and more workouts and other fun stuff on there as well. Okay, so we're gonna get the time on the clock and we have got 30 seconds of exercise, a little 12 second rest. Uh, so we're gonna get this down to the ground. And our first exercise, you're gonna come into dead bugs right here, and we're gonna tuck those hips underneath and we're going to hold. So the first one is a static hold. So arms are straight out in front of you. Make sure that your knees aren't too close towards you. You're gonna bring them in a nice right angle, point your toes, tuck your hips underneath, and lift up, releasing your shoulders onto the ground. So really tucking your hips underneath. So now just practice here, arching your back and then tucking your hips underneath. It almost should feel like it's trembling. So arching your back and then tucking it underneath. There you'll feel how those abs are gonna hold nice and tight. And gently release down. Okay, take a gentle roll up. Let's release up that chest. We're gonna take that one more time. And this time we're gonna extend the leg out in front. So three, two, one. Let's extend that left leg all the way down to the ground or as low as that you can. And again, now we remember in that first time we were practicing squeezing that back into the ground. So tuck your hips underneath. If you have any gap, even the tightest, the smallest gap, you are gonna make, you're gonna be working your back instead of your abs. So keep tucking those hips underneath. Try and bring your knees back to that right angle and squeeze nice and tight. That's it, lift your arms to the sky. Give me one more and release down. Gently roll up, lift your chest up. Now we're gonna take that the third time and add on those arms as well. So come all the way down to the ground, right angles, and we're gonna extend that left leg long and the right arm, that's it. And swap to the other side. All the time, tucking those hips underneath so if you put a towel underneath you and I came along and tried to grab it, there is no way that you would be able to get it. Yes, your back will keep it nice and close. Keep those hips tucked underneath and keep that leg straight as you extend out and bring in that knee to that right angle. Whoo, how are those abs feeling? Three, two, one. Okay, gently come all the way up. We're gonna take that one more time and guess what? We're gonna extend the legs and the arms. So lift that chest up, bring it all the way down, get those knees to right angle and extend all the way out. Tuck those hips under all the time. Remember, if you wanna come up into more of a V, if your back is coming off the ground, do that. The most important thing is that as you extend, your back is sticking so close to the mat all the way through and bring it back in. That's it, work those abs. Whoo, tuck everything underneath. Should feel nice and tight, everything trembling, and release, come all the way up to seating, and come up onto a high plank for me. So push down into your hands, come up onto your toes or down onto your knees, and squeeze those abs in, and hold. That's it. So here you can kind of stretch out the backs of your legs. So if you just push your heels down into the ground, you'll feel that stretch, having your hands still directly underneath your shoulders and breathe here. Whoo, that's it. Pull those abs in towards you. Have a nice straight line throughout and know that you are gonna get through this workout because I'm not gonna go anywhere and all you have to do is keep on playing along to this workout and release your knees down to the ground. Okay, you're gonna bring your hands down to the ground this time, and you're gonna come up into a dolphin pose. So come up into a downward facing dog, but with your elbows down onto the mat, and halt. So just take a nice big breath in here. Oh, and exhale, kind of stretch out the backs of your legs. You can push down onto your heels, 
and feel that stretch. Pull that belly button up, sending those hips nice and high to the sky. Release that head down. Push your fingertips into the ground nice and wide. Breathe and hold for three, two, one. Come back up onto your high plank, okay? So shake out your arms. You're gonna come back onto your high plank and you're gonna take it open into your side plank and exchange the other side. Let's take it away. So nice and slow and controlled. If option number two, come down to your knees. Everybody can do this workout because there is layers. Every exercise has layers. Every workout has different options. So there's no excuse not to be able to do anything. That's it. So lift it up all the way through. Oh, looking good. Give me one more either side. All the way up to the top. Release down and extend. Okay, we're going to come down onto one side to your side plank. So elbow underneath. You're gonna have your hips on top of each other and you're gonna dip up and down. That's it, so just dip. Whoo, we're getting through this 10 minutes. Yes, this first 10 minutes, we are flying by. And of course, oh, those of you who are doing the full 28 minute workout on the Burn by Rebecca Louise app, oh, you are gonna get some serious results. Yes, we are. Okay, give me 10 seconds. Make sure those hips are on top of each other. Lift up, hold at the top. For five, four, three, two, one, and release down. Okay, take it over to the other side. You've got that 10 second rest. So elbow directly underneath, having your feet on top of each other, hips on top of each other, and up we go. Squeeze. So little pulse at the top, little hold at the top. Really making sure that your hips are on top of each other, pulling up into your side plank the whole time, really squeezing. Ah, give yourself a little smile. Know that you are gonna be able to get through this. Even if you wanna come down to your knees right here, up and down, feel it. Whew. And then test it, come up here for a couple. And breathe for five, four, three, two, one. And release down. Okay, we're gonna come all the way up here. We're gonna take it into a nice, low and slow sit up. So you're gonna come up to the top here and let's come all the way down with me. You're gonna to come to here, and then we're gonna bring it all the way back up. So we're not going all the way down to the ground. That's it, so breathe, come here, and then lift all the way up. Oh, how are we feeling today? Are we ready to conquer those abs? Are we ready to set our bodies on fire? Feel the burn! Make sure that you're hashtagging, I can feel the burn, Rebecca, because you guys are going crazy on Instagram, and I love it. Okay, lift all the way up and release okay hands on those shins and lift up through the chest give yourself a little bit of a stretch okay number two we're going to bring our feet together and lift up to the ground you're going to come out and then you're going to lift all the way up option number two heels down on the ground come down and squeeze so that's it so extend your legs not all the way straight still keep that little bend and really just kind of lean back releasing those shoulders, looking up to the sky. Oh, know that you're gonna do this. You're gonna get through it. Less than 10 seconds. And breathe. Three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna stay in this same position. You're gonna lift your arms up. You're gonna come over to one side, swoop all the way up and then calm down. So you're kind of like you're making a figure of eight. So swoop down and swoop it all the way back up. Working those obliques. <sighs> Keeping those feet nice and flat onto the ground. Take those arms up over your head. Bring them together over to the side. Really try and twist that side body. <sighs> and breathe, yeah. Let's go, keep those knees hip width distance apart. Lean a little bit further back. Squeeze all the way up to the top. And here we go. Give me one more on this side. And lift all the way up to the top and release down okay come all the way onto your back you're going to come and bring your chest up off the ground and you're going to extend one leg at a time and nice and slow and controlled this is not about being fast just go slow maybe touch your heel down option number two you can release your head down to the ground and arms out to the side it's going to help you keep that back nice and flat on the floor 
So option one or option number two. Whew, that's it. So bring that knee back together and then extend the other leg. Whew, bring that chest up a little bit higher. And last one and release. Okay, we're gonna take that into another round. We're gonna bring the chest up here and this time you're going to extend the leg over to the other side. So you're gonna take it on a diagonal. Let's take it away. Hold that chest up nice and high. Again, squeezing those abs into the ground. Breathe it and exhale. Nice, everybody. So bringing your knee in to meet the other knee and then taking it across. How are we feeling? Those obliques are on fire, right? Let's keep it up. Give me a few more. Five, four, three, two, one, and gently roll up. You're gonna come onto your front. We're gonna go into a low plank. So hands down on the ground, tuck your toes underneath. Whew, and we're gonna have your arms separate this time. So not together, you're gonna hold them out here and just squeeze and hold. Whoo, yeah. All right, let's keep it going. Squeeze those abs nice and tight. Take a breath in oh, and out. Don't worry, you can do this. This is your mindset working. You're gonna decide that you can because in less than 10 seconds, you can release down. So pop up onto your toes. Know that it's gonna happen in three, two, one, and release down. Oh my goodness me, I am hot and sweaty and I've got definitely got some volume going on with my hair. Oh, well, thank you for joining me on today's ab workout. Oh, if you want to see more of our workouts and videos, check out the rest of them right here. They're pretty cool. They're amazing. It's definitely going to get your heart rate up, get you feeling the burn and get you having those results that you want. And of course, you can check out the app Burn by Rebecca Louise. I love you guys. I hope to see you one day on one of my retreats. Oh, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. So you are going to feel like you can breathe. The rest of it, your abs are going to be on fire. But that is the best way to get those results. Isn't it, Alfie? Yes, indeed. So that's it.